Let's solve this uh, initial value problem by using Laplace transform. So here we have this uh, differential equation y double prime minus 6y prime plus 8y equals 0. And we also given this uh, initial conditions that is y of 0 equals 2 and y prime of 0 equals 4. So first uh, I'm going to apply Laplace transform on both sides. So when I do that I will get uh, Laplace transform of y double prime minus uh, 6y prime plus uh, 8y. We apply Laplace transform to both sides. So Laplace transform of 0. Now we can apply the linearity property on the left side. Uh, when we do that, uh, we have to apply Laplace transform to each term uh, inside the brackets. So this is uh, Laplace transform of y double prime minus uh, Laplace transform of uh, 6y prime plus uh, Laplace transform of 8y. And uh, this equals uh, 0 because Laplace transform of 0 equals 0. So I just put uh, 0 over here. Now I'm going to use this uh, Laplace transform formula. That is, we have formula for uh, Laplace transform of y prime as plus Laplace transform of y double prime. So I'm going to replace Laplace transform of y double prime first. Uh, this is replaced as uh, this uh, equation. Uh, so it is S squared Laplace transform of y minus uh, S times of uh, y of 0 minus uh, y prime of 0. So we have replaced for uh, Laplace transform of y double prime. Now let's uh, replace for uh, Laplace transform of y. So this can be factored or that is we have a 6 here. So I can write down this as uh, basically this Laplace transform of 6y prime. So this equals, so we can factor out the 6. So it is uh, 6 times of Laplace transform of y prime. So I'm going to replace this Laplace transform of y prime as uh, this uh, equation. That is uh, S times of Laplace transform of y. So I put a bracket S, trans, S times of Laplace transform of y minus y of 0. I close this bracket and finally we have Laplace transform of 8y. Once again we can factor the 8 uh, out of the Laplace transform and then take only the Laplace transform of y. So this equals 0. Now let's simplify this uh, using the initial value conditions that is given. So we are given y of 0 equals 2. So wherever we have y of 0, we can replace this as 2. So therefore this will be 2 and uh, this will also we can replace it as 2. And we have y prime of 0 that we have to replace it as 4. So therefore this can be replaced as 4. We have only y, y prime of 0. So let's uh, clean this up. So therefore this uh, will be S squared Laplace transform of y minus uh, this is S times of 2 is 2S negative 2S and then this is uh, negative 4 minus uh, we have 6 times of Laplace transform of y minus 2. In fact we can do the distribution here. So let me do the distribution. So we have uh, 6 times of S times of Laplace transform of Y that is uh, negative 6S Laplace transform of Y and then negative 6 times of negative 2 is uh, positive 12 and finally we have 8 times of Laplace transform of Y and so this equals 0. Now let's uh, factor out the, all the Laplace transform of Y's. So we have 3 Laplace transform of Y terms that is this term this term as well as this term. I'm going to factor only the Laplace transform of y and when I do that uh, I am left with the s squared from here and I am left with the negative 6s and I am left with the positive 8 over here. And finally we write down the remaining terms that is we have negative 2s and then we have negative 4 positive 8 which is a positive 4. And then 12 plus 4 is uh, 16. I'm sorry, I have ac uh, actually taken this into account. This is not uh, a number, this is a factor of uh, 8 times of Laplace transform of y. So we should not uh, take this into account. So it's just that a negative 4 
plus 12, which is a positive 8. So this is only positive 8. And this equals 0. So let's uh, simplify this. We have uh, Laplace transform of y times of, uh, in fact, this is a quadratic expression which can be factored as a product of uh, linear terms. I can write down this as uh, s minus 4 times of uh, s minus 2 because the product is uh, positive 8, negative 4 and negative 2 will give positive 8 and negative 4 plus negative 2 will give negative 6. So this is perfect and I'm going to transpose these two terms to the right side. So therefore they will become 2s minus 8 and uh, in fact uh, this can be factored as 2 times of s minus 4. So we now have Laplace transform of y times of uh, s minus 4 times of s minus 2 and this equals uh, 2 times of s minus 4. Now we see we have a common factor on both sides. I'm going to divide by this term that is s minus 4 on both sides. So I do division s minus 4 and also divide by s minus 4. So when I do that we can cancel these terms s minus 4 gets cancelled. So finally we are left with Laplace transform of y times of uh, s minus 2. This equals uh, 2. Now we divide uh, by this term so that we will have only Laplace transform of y. So Laplace transform of y and this equals uh, 2 by s minus 2. In fact uh, Laplace transform of y uh, this will be a function of s that is uh, y of s, we write down this as a function of s which is y of s and this equals uh, 2 over s minus 2. Now to determine the function y of t, we take uh, inverse Laplace on both sides. We take inverse Laplace on both sides. So I put Laplace inverse of y of s and this equals uh, Laplace inverse of 2 over s minus 2. So Laplace transform of y of s that is Laplace inverse of y of s and this equals uh, y of t as a function of t and here we can use the standard Laplace inverse formula that is uh, Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus a and uh, this equals e raised to the power of a t. So here uh, we can factor out the 2 first and then uh, we will have only Laplace inverse of 2 times of Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 2. Now we use this formula to find the Laplace inverse of 1 over s minus 2 and this gives uh, 2 times of e raised to the power of a t. So here a is 2 so it is e raised to the power of 2 t. So we have y of t equals uh, 2e power can rewrite this as uh, y of t equals 2e power 2t. So we have determined this uh, function uh, with the by solving the initial value problem. Now let's uh, answer the questions uh, given as part of this uh, question. So in the first question uh, we have to write down the equation after taking the Laplace transform. Uh, remember that uh, after we have taken the Laplace transform, this is the equation that we get. So we can ans uh, take this as answer for the first question. That is Laplace transform of y times of s squared minus uh, 6s. I'm sorry, this has to be written as Laplace transform of y or y of t, we can write down this, just to write down this as y. This is Laplace transform of y times of s squared minus 6s plus 8. And we then had a negative 2s plus 8. This uh, equals 0. Now to answer the second question, which asks to solve for y, we have already solved for y that is y of s equals uh, 2 over s minus 2. So this answers the second question. 
that is y or y of s this equals uh, 2 over s minus 2 and then in the third question it asks for the equation to rewrite the equation y using partial fraction since uh, this right side expression in y of s has only one term there is no need for a partial fraction so the answer for this uh, third question is also the same thing that is y equals 2 over s minus 2 and finally we write down the solution that is y of t and this equals as we have already figured out it is 2 e power 2t this is 2 e raised to the power of 2t so we answered all the questions asked in this question